We need to strengthen our relationship with Pakistan. This is a very, very difficult part of the world and is a very, very difficult relationship. But none of that overcomes the basic fact that we need a strong relationship with Pakistan for our own national security interests. The threat is real, has been described by a large number of my colleagues. The threat from Islamic extremism through al-Qaeda and other groups comes from this region in large part through al-Qaeda, in large part through the Taliban, and threatens us. To defeat that, we need partners in the region. We need a partner in Afghanistan, we need a partner in Pakistan. And the good news is, Pakistan is taking steps in the right direction. As has been mentioned, they have stepped up and confronted the violent extremists that threaten them and pushed back against them. They are working with us to train their forces in counterinsurgency tactics so they can better do this. And they have also taken the first basic steps in getting a lasting democracy in place. This has been a lengthy challenge for them as they have dealt with governance and economic issues. But they have made progress. They need our help to build on that progress. Because if they cannot provide a decent government, a decent governance to their people, it makes it all too easy for the violent extremists to prey on their failures and recruit Pakistanis to their cause. With our support, they can build a better economy. They can build the basics of governance to provide for their people. Without it, they are going to have a very, very difficult time accomplishing that task. That will be a threat to the region, and that will be a threat to us. This bill shows a commitment from the United States to a long-term relationship. For too long, the Pakistanis have felt that we only use them for our own interests and then walk away, and have been reluctant to embrace us, reluctant in some ways to confront the Taliban for fear that we will not be there to help them when it is truly needed. This bill shows the long-term commitment to the partnership that we must have with a Pakistani government that seems increasingly willing to have that partnership. I urge support for this legislation.